Hey everyone, I'm Mr. Josh Blackwell. I've been teaching my friends in the Yellow One classroom since last fall, and I'm very excited to be uh, giving this lesson this week. This is my seven-month-old daughter, Elizabeth, and she's gonna be helping us. If you remember last week, we learned about the special gift that we receive uh, when we believe in Jesus, which is the Holy Spirit. This week, we're going to hear a story about a lame beggar. A beggar is someone who doesn't have a lot, and so they ask other people for help. And in this story, we're going to hear about how God helps this beggar by doing a miracle, which is something that only God can do. Before we get started with our story, let's say a quick prayer. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for all of our friends and the kids at CFC. Please open our hearts and our minds and help us to learn from this story that you have for us today. In Jesus' name, amen. It was the middle of the afternoon in the town of Jerusalem. People were gathering in the temple, which is a place where God was worshipped, much like our church building. It was time for the afternoon prayer service. Every day at this time, people came to the temple to pray together. Next to one of the gates that led into the temple sat a crippled man. He would greet people and ask them for money as they came to worship God. His feet and ankles did not work, so he couldn't walk. He was born this way, and never in his whole life had he ever been able to take a step. He relied on others to help him get places. Because of this, he was not able to get a job and work like other people. His friends carried him to temple, where he would sit and beg or ask for money as people passed by him. On this particular day, Peter and John were entering the temple for afternoon prayer when they noticed the crippled man. Peter got the man's attention by saying, Look at us! The man looked at Peter and John, expecting a nice gift of money. Peter said to him, I don't have any money for you, but I will give you what I do have. In the name of Jesus Christ, get up and walk. They said this because Jesus has the power to change lives, because Jesus is God. Then Peter took the man by the hand to help him to his feet, and immediately the man's feet and ankles were healed and strengthened. For the first time in this man's life, he was able to stand by himself on his own two feet. When he realized that he was standing on his own, he jumped up into the air as high as he could. He was so excited he leaped again. Then he walked around and did another leap. This was a miracle. A miracle is something wonderful that only God can do. The beggar started praising God as he excitedly danced around on his healed legs. Peter and John had reached out to him, but God is the one who healed him. The man went with Peter and John into the temple, walking and leaping and praising God the whole way. Others recognized the man who was once crippled, and they were amazed. As crowds gathered to see the healed lame beggar, Peter began to share with them that it was only through the power of God and his son Jesus that this man was healed. Thousands of people heard Peter that day and saw what God did through him and they trusted Jesus the Lord to forgive them for all the wrong things they had done. This story took place in Jerusalem, where just a few weeks before, Jesus had died on the cross and three days later rose again. The Bible tells us that 5,000 men, and women and children too, believed that Jesus was truly the Son of God after seeing the lame man healed and listening to Peter tell them that it was the same power that Jesus had that had healed this man. Many of these were probably there as Jesus hung on the cross and cried out to God, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. Truly, God is good. His mercy endures forever. He is worthy of our praise. Thank you so much for watching the story this week. And thank you, Miss Elizabeth, for helping. We miss you all very much, but we hope that you're taking this time to find creative ways to have fun at home. We look forward to when we can see you again. Let's pray one more time. Dear Lord, thank you so much for our story today. Thank you for healing the beggar, and thank you for performing miracles all the time and for taking care of us. We love you very much. Amen. See you next time.